Hey Capricorn, this is Tara Queen Jamila. I'm here to do your um, general and uh, health reading. I got a feeling that whoever I was supposed to do this next reading for is probably having some kind of throat difficulty. <laughs> okay, so if you are a Capricorn that's having throat dryness or something like that, it's probably a good idea to maybe drink some watermelon water or eating watermelon or maybe even eating bananas because for some reason I got really choked up right before I started on your reading. So, um, and I have drank plenty of water, so I'm feeling like this thickness. So hopefully it'll clear out because I'm listening to some throat chakra frequency. So it may have something to do with the caps, okay? So I'm going to check and see what's up with that. Uh, by the way, welcome to the channel. Uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you want a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me or a private uh, reading, you can go to the link in the website. I usually do my readings by phone, okay? All right, so I'm just going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Capricorns. Um, I want to look at uh, mind, body, spirit, and past, present, future. So this will be for uh, March, April, 2017. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Messy. There's some messiness going on. I can see maybe some yelling. Maybe someone has been using their throat chakra, overusing it possibly. It's a possibility. All right, well, let's see and uh, make sure that if you like this reading, you support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button. I knew it. I knew it. Um, you definitely got some conflict, okay? You got the five of wands coming up. This represents, um, this actually, this card actually represents the mind and your body and your spirit but then I'll look at past present and future so I can see that right now probably what is on Capricorn's mind is probably the conflict that um, I think you've probably been thinking about the conflict in your life and possibly trying to make some kind of positive change so hopefully because the card to represent your mind is the Five of Wands. <clears throat> the card to represent your body is the King of Pentacles. And the card to represent uh, your spirit is Death. So, you know, the Death card represents transformation and a lot of other stuff. So, I'm going to ask Spirit to give me clarity on the Five of Wands because um, this card does represent uh, whatever time... Um, all of March so I'm going to look more as to, as what's going on in March um spirits please clarify the five of wands you know what I bet you my voice is not that bad but it sounds scratchy like it just I don't know there's like this this scratchiness scratchy throat all right, Princess of Cups. So you, there must be, I feel like Capricorn Princess of Cups probably represents maybe your lover, maybe your daughter. It could just somebody that, um, <clears throat> I feel like Princess of Cups represents possibly somebody that you're either having some, or maybe someone you're involved in some kind of love competition with. Maybe this is somebody you're fighting over. Whatever it is, I can see that during the month of March, <clears throat> you, had, you must have had a great deal of anxiety surrounding this person. Ah, <clears throat> I hate that, and I've got really bad allergies over here in Georgia. Wow. I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know if this is like coming. I think I'm going to drink some water and see if that clears it up, or probably some tea. I might have to stop this reading, but my voice, like... It's been fine, but I noticed that the past couple of days I started to suffer from hoarseness. So I do feel as though possibly uh, with the Princess of Cups coming up, I feel like this does represent uh, possibly some 
I feel like this represents your lover and I feel like it represents your inability to eat or sleep or drink. I feel like you've been worried. So I kind of feel like maybe some of you, this may not be all of you, but maybe you haven't been drinking enough water. I feel like the Prince of Cups is this, the Princess of Cups is a spirit guide. I feel like it could represent one of your children um, or maybe just someone that you know reminding you to drink water. Or maybe it's a need to do it. I feel like this anxiety is definitely wrapped around this person. Uh, what is the anxiety about spirits? That's what I want to know because, um, okay, the hanged man. So again, this could be someone that you're, if you're a female Capricorn, you may be in competition with the Princess of Cups. It could represent your uh, significant other's child. Hey, little man, Chucky, Jacob. Don't let me get away from steps. I'm sorry, y'all, because that kid was like, can you get away from the steps, please? Yes, you will. <laughs> he always says no, but then he does it. I feel like the hanged man is representing, it, it, you know, for some of you caps, this is your lover. You know, this is you feeling like you are probably begging that person to take you back. Or it could be someone that you're in a competition with. It could be somebody that you want to ask to come back, but you can't. So you may have been losing, you may be losing some sleep, but whatever it is, could be either situation. So I feel like for a majority of you uh, Capricorns, that's definitely what you're dealing with in the month of March. I feel like spirit is also telling me to tell you to slow down and breathe. And to maybe also take a bath. I feel like maybe taking a bath, maybe um, doing some stargazing or something, or maybe even just getting some fresh air. But I definitely think you need to drink more water. All right, Capricorn. So the current position and what's coming up for probably, I would say, the past week and going towards like um, April, you got the King of Pentacles. So... I feel like currently you, you know, as far as like the way that your, you know, personal health feels, uh, the King of Pentacles is pretty good. Even though you may have some headaches, you may have like some aches and pains or maybe just general, um, you know, maybe just that general, like, what's that? How do you pronounce that word? Malaise or something? Malaise. But I feel like it's like kind of like more so. It could be maybe you're mentally exhausted, you know, because of something. I do feel like some sort of exhaustion. I feel like it is sort of manifesting itself. It's anger. So you may be, if you're dealing with a Capricorn or if you're around a Capricorn, it could be some sort of anger. I feel like your Capricorn is probably afraid because they feel like they're losing themselves. You know, but the hanged man is sort of when you have to let go of ego. The hanged man is a very, very powerful card in a love reading. So I'd say Capricorns probably have a, a very complicated love reading up for this time frame. So if this does have something to do with your love life, it could be your job. It could be, I feel like it's a person. It could possibly be your child. It's a possibility. I'm going to ask Spirit to clarify the hanged man. Okay, so judgment comes up. I feel as though this is where um, either the Capricorn or, the, or maybe like just the energies around you. Maybe Capricorn is feeling really judged right now, uh, which is why there's all this fighting or there was all this fighting or in the past you felt judged. Um, I feel like, well, this these cards are actually in the past to represent the hanged man. So I feel like you... You were feeling like, like I feel like you were either prejudging Capricorn or you felt like you were being judged, you know. So it could be either or, but whatever it is, I feel like it's based upon something, probably something negative from the past. And so I feel like it was, it, you know, if this has something to do, I feel like in general Capricorns are having a hard time 
uh, possibly, you know, giving in to something. So I feel like the hanged man is where somebody is kind of thinking about something. Maybe they're pondering something. Maybe they're having a hard time. So I say go look at your love reading. But King of Pentacles to represent your health is actually pretty good at the current. But um, I, you know, I do kind of feel with the King of Pentacles. Um, like, like in the, the general, I feel like, like in general, um, feeling really, I feel like the most cap for the most part, most Capricorns. Now, some of you may still be feeling drained. Some of you may be trying to achieve balance. So the King of Pentacles could be a spirit guide that's trying to tell you to, to, um, Balance out your root chakra um, and probably just balance yourself out. Okay, so let me ask Spirit to clarify King of Pentacles. Okay, so Prince of Wands. So what does the Prince of Wands want to say? Okay, Ace of Wands. I feel like for a majority of you Capricorns, it could be that maybe possibly you just recently met somebody. Ooh, heart flutters. So some of you may be working on either new, either some sort of new relationship or maybe possibly even a pregnancy. This anxiety in the past. Some sort of new beginning. I feel like if it's not your pregnancy, it's possibly a child because the Prince of Wands is a typically a younger person, but it still represents some sort of message, some sort of news. And I can see that current. I feel like you just, for a majority of you Capricorns at current, you may have possibly gotten some good news or maybe you can be expecting some within the next week. Um, I do feel like if you're not feeling your best right now, like if that doesn't jive with you, if you're feeling. Now I will tell you that with the earth and the fire energy, I do feel that high driven passion. So I feel like a lot of passion and like maybe you needing to cool off a little bit, like maybe drinking some water or maybe, you know, so I think spirits are saying that you probably are a little dehydrated. It's a possibility, maybe you, cause I just kind of feel like you know, now, so I feel like that's the only thing. Like, maybe you just want to drink plenty of water. With the Ace of Wands and the Prince of Wands, the, I'm going to be honest with you, this could represent, you know, just an over-exhaustion or an overuse of your, like, body. Because <laughs> the Wands, that's like sexual energy. So I'm going to ask spirits uh, what advice, because I do feel like King of Pentacles um, is a spirit guide that is if you are not balanced I feel like that's what he's trying to do for you I feel like that's the message that he would tell you but I also feel like he's probably saying that you need to balance out your electrolytes because of all of the energy that you're going to be using or maybe all of the energy that you're currently using so is that what he is saying okay I feel like that's what he's saying because of the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> um, the Three of Pentacles is more so feminine earth energy. But it does kind of flow together. So I kind of, you know, usually when I see the three, three of Pentacles, it's sort of... That energy is sort of close, so... I feel like it's also, the Three of Pentacles is also very cyclic. So I do want to remind Capricorns to possibly get some rest more than anything. All right, let me ask Spirit about uh, the death card. So I feel like there is a transformation coming up. The death card represents some sort of powerful change, okay? 
Now, it, it, it's not to say that it may not be some sort of issue. You know, sometimes something could happen that's very, very hard that results in something very, very good coming out of it. But I feel like definitely with the, the wands that's coming up, I feel like spirit probably um, is preparing you for something. Now, the Three of Pentacles, I do feel like it represents, you know, maybe some sort of, uh, could be some sort of triangle. Um, but it does represent, like, I'll tell you this, that financially the card does. It is, it's, it's a manifestation card. So, this could be going out into the the new moon so in general the financial energy looks really good but there is some sort of change that is coming up so the card to represent your spirit is death so i do see a very powerful transformation coming in through the spirit um that is kind of i feel like it's trying to balance you out <clears throat> Not balance you out, but help you maybe build, like, or either rebuild something. Because death can sometimes mean, you know, totally destroying something and rebuilding it. Or maybe even closing one door so that another one can open. So, I'm going to ask Spirit, what does this mean in general? So, you know, maybe, I don't know, I don't exactly remember the love reading for... Okay, so the chariot comes up. I feel like a lot of you Capricorns have had some anxiety related to travel, probably. It's something that you're trying to do with a relationship, maybe a job, maybe in general, maybe with self. Um, that you're trying to get to but it seems like there's this negative energy standing in the way and I feel like for a majority of you Capricorns for you to get the nine of swords and the hanged man and five of wands you know all surrounding this princess of cups I feel like this has been something that is some kind of journey some sort of progression you know energy of progress so I do feel like some of you Capricorns are dating a either a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces I will say in that order also yeah Cancer Scorpio Pisces now you could have a fire sign person but I feel like the fire energy is your energy I feel like you know these all these cards possibly represent you um, but I feel like the chariot also represents, um, you know, maybe with the three of pentacles, maybe you've been trying to get your vehicle fixed or something. Spirits, give me clarity on the chariot. Whatever it is, I do feel as though with the chariot, I am going to do an outcome so I can see, um, more so out into April. Because at the beginning of April, I do see this powerful transformation coming in. I feel like a lot of you are going to either um, end something, maybe end a negative phase, maybe end a negative aspect of yourself, possibly. But I feel like it is some sort of anxiety related to travel. So, okay, Five of Pentacles comes up. So I definitely do see some travel coming up in April for some Capricorns. Okay, and then the Seven of Swords was next. So it makes a lot of sense because I feel like for a lot of you Caps, you're going to go through such a powerful transformation that the people around you are going to um, I feel like this represents negative energy in April. I feel like this is a possible negativity way in your past. But I feel like you're going to try to make some sort of progression, some sort of leap forward. And I do see 
somebody sort of uh, with the five of pentacles I feel like somebody's gonna try to maybe short you out of some money uh, maybe somebody is going to try to cheat try to teach you Ta try to cheat you that was a tongue twister uh, maybe five of pentacles can represent um, being careful not to lose any money coming up in April these could be warning cards okay the seven of swords was next so this is some something being exposed or some sort of unethical behavior or maybe some sort of distrust. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles comes right after that. So you actually got a repeat number. I can't look that up, but I do know that it does represent... Uh, maybe possibly being a healer um, or maybe some sort of spiritual some sort of uh, gift having to do with spirituality because of the two sevens coming up you know back to back like that all right I want to ask spirit so I do feel as though you are going to start some kind of journey for the people that, you know, this uh, is for. Now, death could represent some sort of change of job. I feel like this could represent maybe, um, maybe something ending, okay? Especially with that. But I feel like whatever it is, it's meant to end because it, you are supposed to move beyond that Capricorn. So that's why the chariot comes up. There's something else out there for you. I feel like there's either something else out there for you. Um, or I feel like the chariot is representing um, having setbacks or um, having negative energy being thrown at you and having the ability to progress and move forward. I do feel as though there is going to be some moments of insecurity with the Five of Pentacles for Capricorns coming up in April. There's also going to be accusations possibly being thrown at you. Um, some sort of negative subconscious blockage. Some sort of thing being exposed. You know, maybe this is going to be somebody that you knew a few years ago that wasn't actually your friend. Um, I wouldn't let it have that big of an impact on me. Okay. With the Seven of Pentacles, this is representing, um, coming up next to it is, you know, somebody having a long, hard journey, which jives well with the chariot. But it does represent hard work and perseverance. So I feel like Spirit is saying with these two sevens that, um, you know, this is when your hard work begins to pay off. So things that you're wanting that, you know, you're trying to get to come into fruition. I do feel like the energies that you're going to take into May are going to be um, energies to where you possibly want something more for yourself. I feel like it represents wanting more. And uh, so I'm going to ask Spirit what advice to offer on all of this. Well, the Seven of Pentacles also does represent. Um, all right. So the Hermit turned over. So I do feel like a majority of you Capricorns are possibly um, not being social enough. I feel like the Hermit. Um, it's also representing... Um, um, soul searching and finding finding self okay You know what? I really kind of feel as though going into 
um, May, I feel like a lot of um, Capricorns are going to try to go into hermit mode. This is kind of like when you maybe um, are just not talking to people. Um, you're just not dealing with people. You feel like you're at a place. And so I feel like with this Five of Pentacles is representing uh, Five of Pentacles, you know, Seven of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. I feel like when this is where you are possibly in a very alone place. Now, the Princess of Swords did come out and I was trying to figure her out. I feel like Princess of Swords uh, represents some sort of air sign or air energy. Someone communicating something with you. Or either some sort of energy. So it's kind of like, I feel like the Hermit could represent uh, someone finding um, protection. You know, the, the Hermit actually represents protection and someone protecting their crown. Okay, this is why there's a... So this is when someone, I feel like hermit is when you're protecting yourself and you're trying to sort of, you know, maybe, you know, find your spirit or maybe just find your balance, you know. I do see that, but I do see someone of an air sign. I mean, I do feel like this person is just kind of coming at you and I will ask the spirits what advice to offer you on this person because I feel like they're going to maybe show up. They're probably going to call. They're probably going to reach out to you. Um, possibly telepathically so I feel like the hermit representing someone wanting to be left alone and the princess of swords being an air sign could represent um, someone sort of you know invading that space or opposing your alone time and I want to ask spirit what advice to offer on this person okay the prince of pentacles I feel like Prince of Pentacles is telling you to cut that person off. You know, just kind of um, sort of put up a brick wall. The Prince of Pentacles will do that. Um, sort of comes, comes across maybe cocky, giving someone the cold shoulder. Um, I feel like um, the Hermit is representing Earth energy as well. Also, it does represent the Virgo. So I feel like this is possibly you, Capricorn sort of uh i feel like the page i'm sorry i feel like the page i'm sorry the prince of pentacles is where you kind of give this person the message that you don't care and the star card comes up so i feel as though this is representing healing I, you know i don't know where this uh air sign pops up in from but you know i feel like this represents healing and protection okay possible spirit guides and I don't know why I felt like with the Page of Pentacles, the Page, I kept saying Page because I feel like this is you calling on your spirit guides because, you know, I do feel like this person does kind of pop up. Um, the Hermit, it's nothing wrong with the Hermit, especially with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles representing um Someone dealing with someone unethical, someone feeling held back, someone feeling lost. So I feel like that is a good idea to definitely get some alone time. I feel like a Virgo would definitely tell you that Virgos, uh, this is the Virgo card, Virgos will block your number. They will totally banish you. They will not acknowledge you at all. And I feel like this is possible, that energy telling you that. So I feel like you've possibly got, you know, maybe the page of uh, Pentacles or maybe the Prince of Pentacles represents an earth sign child that you have. Okay, that's sort of, you know, telling you to, you know, maybe to sort of guard yourself or put your guard up, you know, and to sort of. Now, the star card represents illumination. It represents clarity. So I feel like the energy that a lot of you caps are going to take into, especially if you listen to the advice of this spirit guide, I feel like this spirit guide is going to sort of show up around the same time to keep you grounded because I feel like whoever this person is, they, you know, they have the effect of you not being grounded because they're air energy. So the star card actually represents um, fire energy, fire and air. So this is about innovation, inspiration, um, 
and also you know hope and destiny and dreams and stuff like that and happiness so I do feel as though with the star card this could also represent um, especially being in that it represents your spirit um, I did feel like you're going through remember I said earlier I felt like with the sevens that was a healer so I feel like the star card is represent representing you sort of taking into the month of, of May you know um, possibly a lot of healing energy because you were able to manifest that healing energy within yourself so I feel like the star card is also representing um, maybe somebody practicing maybe some sort of esoteric knowledge uh, maybe somebody I feel like this represents some sort of um, maybe some sort of I feel like it's starting something new and you know get you know having a lot of inspiration so just feeling really inspired and I feel like this is really good especially with all this negative stuff coming up in the past so I feel like a lot of you Capricorns have been unhappy in the past you can really see how um, whatever this situation was in the past especially going back to March it could be going back to last March or whatever it could be you know but I feel like it's it's some sort of um, repeated cycle in your life or something that continues to happen to you so let me ask spirit to clarify more on what they want you to use better judgment with um, okay so the seven of cups <laughs> so I feel like this is where you have a tendency to uh, misjudge um, with as far as leading your partners on Capricorn so you did that and you probably did learn a lesson probably has something to do with this um, swords uh, person this princess of swords equates to the knight of swords so that's a lot of um, energy um, coming through there yeah So anyway, that is going to do it for the reading. That's all that I have to say about this reading. If you want a private reading, uh, you can come to me. Um, the link to my website is in the video description box. Um, I do also offer cleanses and then also um, other spiritual work, okay, related to, <clears throat> you know, love and um, maybe even... Ooh, the spirits are very noisy tonight. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching, okay? Namaste.